So this is a, just an overview of vectors. And let's say I have a point uh, 0, 0, 0, origin. And I go to a point, let's say it's 2, 1, 3. All right? Now, I want to call this vector A. What is vector A in column vector form? What is it? What do you think, Adam? It's 2 minus 0, 1 minus 0, 3 minus 0. And I want you to really hone in on this concept because this is one that makes or breaks you with vectors. Heads minus tail. So if this is the head and this is the tail, we always go heads minus tail. Well, let's say I took a different point. A different vector, this one we'll call vector B. This one, the tail is at 5, negative 2, 4. And the head is at negative 1, 4, oh, let's go, negative 3. Okay, so tell me what vector B in column vector form is going to look like. What do you think? So you go head minus tail. So here's the head up here. Head. Here's the tail. So you write negative 6. Right? And what will the next one be? 6. And what will the negative 7? Yeah. So a um, little bit off track there. but So those are my A and B. Are you comfortable with being able to make those vectors from two points, head and tail? Label them head, tail, take heads minus tail, and then you've got your vector. Now we can write this in other forms that we've written. One was the um, uh, standard form or position form, 2i plus j plus 3k, what would it be for this one, b? Negative 6i plus 6j uh, minus 7k. There you go. And we might do some things, like we might want to know how long vector a is. We might want to find out what that length is. So to do that, we need to know the magnitude. So the magnitude of a is the square root of what? Yeah, just take each of these. 2, 1, and 3. 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 3 squared. That's the same as 2, 1, and 3 here. Okay, so the magnitude of A is going to be 4, 5, plus 9 is the square root of 14. Now, we might um, want to do the same thing with B. So let's do that next. B, that's the square root of what? Yeah, negative 6 squared plus 6 squared plus negative 7 squared. 72 plus 50 is 1, uh, 22, and minus 1 is 121. Does that sound right? 111? Oh, yeah, 11. How cool is that? I totally did that on purpose. No. But, all right, so we have those two. So those are things that we did. Now, remember when we made the uh, cute little unit vector? This vector is 11 units long. What if I wanted to make it one unit long? So we call it the unit vector, B. Well, we write the whole thing, 6i plus 6j minus 7k, and we're going to multiply it by 1 over what? 11, and now it's a unit vector. Let's do the same thing with a. Let's make a little unit vector out of that. So it's going to be 2i plus j plus 3k, and it'll be 1 over square root of 14. Now we have a unit vector, which is handy, because if we wanted to make it a a length 20, we could go 20 over the square root of 14, or 
1 make it 77, we'd go 77 over square root of 14. Easy to do if it's already a unit vector. So then another thing that we did is we talked about the dot product. A dot B. So if we go A dot B, we take those, which was uh, 2, 1, 3, dot product, uh, negative 6, 6, negative 7. And to take that dot product, all you're going to do is multiply across. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. 1 times 6 is 6. 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. So I get negative 33, negative 27. Sound good? So guess what I'm going to do next? I know the dot product. I know the magnitudes. Yeah, and why am I going to do that? What am I going to find? I'm going to, the angle. Yep, and I'll give you this formula. I won't give you the formula for dot product or um, unit vectors. You can figure those. Magnitudes, you can know that. But I'll give you this one. Cosine of theta is the dot product over the magnitude of A over the magnitude of B. So, if I want to know the angle theta, it'll be the inverse cosine of A dot B, which was negative 27. Magnitude of A was square root of 14. Magnitude of B was 11. So, take your calculators, do the inverse cosine, and what are you going to get? So I get 131 degrees. So this is an overview of how you can take a bunch of points, go head minus tail to get a vector direction, and then you can find the magnitude, the unit vector, you can uh, find the dot product, and eventually find the angle between the two vectors. So that's a great overview of the first half of what we are doing.